Today on Eagle Nation News, Leah DeVore recaps last week's Blackout Pep Rally. Maddie Wilbanks looks into just how dangerous drugs can be to your body. And finally, Haley Brown joins us in studio to preview the rebuilding of the Titanic ship. Eagle Nation News starts right, right now. now. Good afternoon, Prosper High School. Today is Monday, October 29th. I'm Christina Folsom. I'm Brandon Brandvold. I'm Jordan Ramsey. So people may be a little curious as to why we're sporting our ENN <laughs> attire today. That's right. Today yeah. is twin day, and since there's three of us, I guess we're triplets Ac for today. Actually, we're quadrupling because oh, Hay that's right. Haley's on open Haley today. Haley will be on the show later wearing the same shirt as well. You know, our shirts aren't the only thing about today's show that's different. Oh, yeah. Hey, oh, yeah. Jordan, what are you doing here? Yeah, shot at, on the couch <laughs> I'm today. just happy to be here. Yeah. Yeah. We're happy you're here as Thank well. Thank you. Anyways, let's get into today's top story. Brayden. <laughs> Unfortunately, this past weekend, there was a shooting in Pittsburgh. The shooting took place in a synagogue and took the lives of 11 people. The suspect, Robert Bauer, surrendered himself and was taken into custody. His first court appearance is scheduled for Monday. Thank you, Brady. On to a lighter subject, the Prosper Eagle Band advanced to UIL State this weekend at the UIL Area B Marching Contest. This is the band's second year in a row qualifying and their first year qualifying at 6A. Congrats to all the members of the band, and good luck at State. The band will start competing November 5th. Thank you, Jordan. The annual Blackout Pet Rally has been a tradition in Prosper High School that brings out the hype in even the shyest of students. Leah DeVore and the Eagle Production Group highlight the best moments of the pep rally. Again, a big thanks to Leah and the Eagle Production Group for creating that for us. Coming up, we bring information on drug usage that may come to be very shocking. Find out after this. If you didn't already know, today is Twin Day. I'm here with my twin, Carly Kate. Carly, can you tell me a little about our outfits? So we're wearing our matching uh, rain jackets and our matching black leggings, and we have our hair up the same. So. So if you didn't dress up today, make sure you dress up tomorrow for Hollywood Day and the rest of the week for Red Ribbon Week. I'm Brenna Gibbons, back to you guys in the studio. Now we send it over to Maddie Wilbakes to discuss the dangers of drug usage. We see drugs all around us, whether they're prescription or illegal. However, they both impact high school students greatly. Many of the drugs seen in schools today can affect schoolwork, home life, and mental and physical health. One of the biggest effects is, uh, depending on the type of drugs that you're using, um, when teenagers and children use drugs, it inhibits your biological brain development. And so over the long term, that can actually have some significant consequences as far as your ability to, uh, you know, remember things um, and some other higher order uh, thinking functions. Just uh, not being able to pay attention in class, not being able to function, and the long-term effects too. So you got to remember, you know, your liver, all your organs inside your body that you can have long-term effects on. 
There are many reasons students start doing drugs. It could be for either stress or being peer pressured. One of the things that, that I've found is there's also a peer pressure element, which uh, sounds like a after school special, you know, some kind of public service announcement. But I can't tell you how many times in, in my years as being an assistant principal, students have come to me um, because they felt pressure to partake in a behavior that they didn't want to partake in. I think people at their school start using drugs just because like their friends are doing it and they'll be like, oh, you should try this, like it's fun. And so then they start doing it just because their friends are doing it. With it being Red Ribbon Week, the hope is to reduce the number of students who partake in drugs at our school. Reporting for Eagle Nation News, I'm Maddie Wilbanks. Thank you, Maddie. Up next, a new face will be in studio with your Eagle update. Stay tuned. Kim Lewis, lead designer for ABC's Extreme Home Makeover, is coming to PHS on November 5th. Please contact Mr. Jaton to participate in the Junior Ring Ceremony. If you have not yet received your picture proofs or student IDs, please pick them up from Ms. Hamlin. Tomorrow's dress up day for Red Ribbon Week is Hollywood Day. Stuff the Bus is a canned food drive that will begin November 5th. You may have heard a rumor that the Titanic 2 is in the making. For more on this, we send it to Haley Brown with your Eagle Update. Thank you, Brayden. I'm Haley Brown with your Eagle Update. Now you've probably heard the famous line, I'll never let go from the Titanic. And now Blue Star Lines Construction Company is bringing this quote back and refusing to let go of the world's most infamous ship that sunk in 1912. Construction of the Titanic 2 has resumed this week, and the $500 million project is scheduled to be finished by 2022. The ship will be an exact replica of the original all the way down to the dinner menus. There will be, of course, improved safety procedures, and with the aid of technology, will allow the ship to take extra precautions in the event of an emergency. The Titanic 2 will set sail in Dubai before heading to Southampton, where it will then make its way to New York, following the exact same path as the original 106 years ago. The ship will be able to hold 2,400 passengers and 900 staff members. I guess we'll just have to wait and see if Leo and Kate decide to board. With that, be sure to follow our Twitter at Eagle Nation News for polls and updates, and check out our website, eaglenation.net, to watch previous episodes. Well, that's all I have for you today. Back to you, Braden. Thank you, Haley. Now let's take a look at the meeting schedule for this week. Student Council is meeting tomorrow during Eagle Time in gym number two, and Eagle Stage Crew is also meeting tomorrow during Eagle Time in 1168G. ASL Club and Honor Society is also meeting tomorrow at 4 p.m. in room 2018. And lastly, Creative Writing Club is meeting tomorrow from four to five in room 1216. Well, that's all the time we have for today. For Eagle Nation News, I'm Jordan Ramsey. I'm Brandon Brandvold. And I'm Christina Folsom. Live long and prosper.